I watch a lot of people do throws. I took a keto for a while and styles like that. And I love it. Really enjoyed it. They had a good time. Uh, there's some people really good and very credible, but a lot of people struggle with arts like that because it becomes like a dance and it's less of a fight. So when you're doing throws and takedowns, it's very important that your partner be compliant at first so you understand how to control the body. If he wasn't, you'd never learn. So when I'm learning things, I need to understand how the shoulders work, how the head moves, right? How this moves, how the arms move. And you need your partner to go with that so that you understand and feel how the movements work. Joint locks are the same way. If you don't allow them to happen at first, you'll never understand how they work through the body. That's the first one. And so the second one comes is in a lot of those styles is people come at you really hard and really fast. So if he comes at me with speed, right, it's easy for me to throw it because he's committed, right? And you can take anybody, any size, and chuck them like a doll when they're committed like that. And you need to learn that because some people do come at you hard and fast, right? But where people have problems with this is they learn preset throws, and then they learn when people come at them fast, and then they run into guys who have skill. So in their class, they have 100 guys come at them, and they throw them all the time. And then they run into somebody who's like a grappler and comes in slower and more precise. And when they grab, they don't commit as deep. They're more patient with it. And the arts that require momentum to make that work struggle with those guys. So what you have to understand is when he grabs me, I have to learn this slow where he's not, where he's compliant, right? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go into things, I'm gonna take him down and whatever I'm gonna do. And I can do this all day on anybody when they're letting me do it. So even if there's, there's tension, if he was really big, I have enough body mechanics and I'm relaxed enough where I can go through it and put this on. And it's amazing. It's a great show. People all clap. But he's not really adjusting. That's where you have problems. So if he grabbed me really tight and I went to go underneath him and I went to put this on, but he moves, right? I don't have it. Or he feels I go on, he puts another arm on and tries to stop me. That's where these guys run into problems. So what you have to understand is you never want to put a preset move on anybody once you know them. It's great for shows, it's good for demos, but it's not good for you. So when you practice, you need to practice two ways. You need people who are relaxed and compliant and allow me to come in and practice the moves and experiment with the takedowns and do what I want to do. And that's great. But then you have to practice with people who don't let you do it. So let's say I wanted to go underneath him. And I wanted to take him, put him down, and whatever. Well, let's just say I go to do that and he resists and pulls against me somewhere else. Okay, now I have to learn Look, now I have to set this up with something else first before I go into what I want to go into. So whatever he does, right? I've seen like throws like this where like people go like this and they're able to buckle them and throw them down, which is nice. But what if he grabs on and then he bends forward and he fights me? Am I going to keep doing that move? That move won't work at that point. You have to understand, okay, I felt this. And that's not going to happen. So he's going to tense up real hard. So now I'm going to do something else. And now I'm going to do something else. Like I said, you have to practice it to practice the moves and get the feel for them. But at some point you have to have people go, no, I'm not going to let you do that. I go to put this on, to put him back, and he, tends, he bends forward. And he grabs my arm. Right now I can't do this anymore. He grabs on. How do I get into something else? It maybe allows me to do something different, which won't look pretty. And that's the problem, right? That's the problem, right? Like we want these nice throws and everything looks really good. We all clap, it's great. But real throwing and takedowns often require strikes, right? We're in this, I'm trying to know, look, hit him. Hit him again. Now maybe I can take him down. Or I go to take him and he tenses up and grabs me, right? And now that pretty throw isn't gonna happen anymore. Right now I have to try and find something else. I have to try and move. I may have to hit him, hit him or whatever I gotta do. Because 
Because it's not, fighting's not pretty. It's not. When you feel good in your art, to where you can do things statically. You know, say you have a preset throw that you know you like, and you want to do it over and over again, right? Till you get it good. Great. But then when you're with people you trust, go to do that move and have them resist it, change it. So they'll go to something else. So now that doesn't work, and the harder you force it, the worse it's going to be. So at some point, you have to find other ways to do it. And do them slow. It's not, this isn't a pissing contest. This is retraining your brain to go from one technique to the next technique to the next technique without you sitting there trying to force a technique onto somebody. If he grabs me and I want to do this, but he says no, he tenses up and doesn't allow me to do it. Okay, well I have to go somewhere else. Like there's no way around it. I just have to go somewhere else. So the only way you can do this is like everyone wants to rush into this. Like, they want to do like, they want to wrestle it, it's great. But you don't learn that way at first. When you get really good with it, go ahead. It's great, do it with your partners. But the very first thing, if you want to learn it properly, start with a throw. Go to do it and have him change it, not let you do it. And then you have to try and find how do I go to something else. And then you do it maybe three times. So I go like this, I go to take him down, he resists. I go to kick his leg, he resists and moves again. Okay, now I have to go somewhere else. Now I have to go somewhere else. And you just keep practicing that way. Go to two, three, four. One guy do it, like not back and forth. Do it like that. As you get better, it becomes back and forth. Like you're wrestling, like or you're doing judo, right? It should be back and forth. But it's so hard to learn how to flow and evolve and change techniques when you're just going at speed with no real background in it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these next two. I think you'll find them very helpful also.